Hello, and welcome to the first stream of this educational series for Audio Design Desk. We're just working out the kinks here. Uh, but I wanted to give you kind of a brief overview of how Audio Design Desk works and what it does. Um, let me go into, let me start in uh, Premiere. So this is a program I love. I edit a lot of material in here. Uh, but when it comes time to do audio or even just to find the right you know, music cue for a scene, it's very time consuming, right? Like I have this big sword fight scene. It's, those of you who have been following us have seen me do this before. But, you know, I do it because it's the type of scene where you're going to need to do so much sound work, it's going to take you all day. Now, there's a couple of ways of cutting these swords into little pieces so that you can start to manually place them one by one. One is that you would go to the beginning of a sound and you hit I and you go to the end and you hit O and then you drag this little thing and you drag it to the right spot and then you kind of frame through till you get to the next spot and then again you'd hit i and o i o and drag it in um you know and that's how long it takes to place two sounds and if you want to replace them there's no mechanism to replace the sounds right um another way is to drag this uh oops to uh here we go it's the power of the live stream is to um you know drag this on down in here and uh just to go in and kind of manually chop it up go to the next one go to the next one right and like this might be one way that i'd do it and then you kind of just go back to each spot so you know you you uh go look for the next thing and you know there they might hit and so you put it there and etc so you get it those are kind of the two ways of you know of really doing this let's just get through this until the swords clank again. And by the way, I'm not doing the sword whips, I'm just doing sword hits. So, you know, it's a very inefficient way of creating the sound for your uh, video. This is Audio Design Desk. And there's a lot of things inside of Audio Design Desk that are making it a more efficient tool for when you're creating audio for video. One of the things is that each of our sounds, we have over 30,000 sounds, and you can apply this to your own sounds. Very important to know. Um, understand where they sync. So this swoosh, it's not the beginning of the sound where it swooshes. It's right kind of here in the middle. So when I press a button on my keyboard, and soon we'll have a MIDI as well, it'll bring in the sound based on that sync point. Well, if every sound, all the sword hits and so forth, also understand that, that means that once they're placed, you can replace those sounds without losing sync. And so you'll see, I'll just uh, kind of perform the scene, and I'm gonna be pushing one for whips and two for sword hits. And uh, we'll see how I did. I kind of three is female vocalizations and four is uh, is like a wood crashing sound. And now we have this. Now, of course, if there was any single sound that I didn't like, let's say that that one felt too big. I can click on it and press shift R and it'll bring up this mini library so I can play all the other sounds that are kind of like it. And I can say, oh, that's the one I like. And now it's a little smaller, right? But if I wanted to replace all of the sounds, let's say, uh-oh, you know, you placed the wrong footstep or you realize, oh, this is actually a lightsaber battle. I can go to search. I can do this in replace too, but I'm gonna do it in search. Lightsaber. And then, you know, our, our timeline is content aware. So I can say, hey, let's take all of the sword hits, swords hitting swords, and let's replace them with lightsaber hits. So I'm just going to go to lightsaber, and I'm going to press shift return. It's also in the menu here and send to timeline, shift return. Uh, now let's replace those hits. Now I need to grab, oh, there's swooshes and whooshes. So we're going to grab swooshes and whooshes. <laughs> and this might be one too, I think. And we're going to replace those with lightsaber whips, right? So that we've got the and the uh, shift return. And now this is our scene. So you can see there's no way to do all of those things in another application. Uh, it's just kind of an instant, easy approach. 
So, but another piece of this is you're trying to find the right mood for your scene, especially if you're doing, let's say, an advertisement or there's a lot of different, you know, reasons why you might need to create sound design for your scene. We have our sound design uh, keys mapped across our QWERTY keyboard. So if you press H, it'll bring in a hit. If you press R, it'll bring in a rise. T for transition. You can also use this trigger pad, by the way. But um, so I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to press H and it's going to randomly bring in a hit, right? It's just completely random. And then I'll press in D and it's randomly bringing in a drone. I can see that's too long. So I can kind of like trim it up about to where I want it. And I'll press re replace and you'll see it gives you something in the realm of the same length, right? And now I'm going to uh, go through the scene and I'll do the same thing where I'm going to press play and I'll hit T for transition and I'll press H for hit when we see this woman and another H for hit when we see her opponent here. Uh, and a rise as the camera comes towards her, a final hit, and then we're going to bring in a piece of music. Okay, so now we've kind of got this little composition. We're going to listen back to it, but you know what? I haven't given it any instructions, right? I've just told it, bring in these types of sounds. So I'll turn all this off by option clicking here. And let's say I want everything to come from my sound design library. And I'm, you know what? I want to kind of focus it. I want it to be relatively low intensity. So now it's pulling from these sounds instead of, you know, 20,000 or whatever it is. And now I've just hit replace and you see I replace and every sound knows where it syncs. So they all maintain sync even though their length and shape change. So let's listen to this. Okay, so that was kind of interesting, right? That kind of worked with the scene. Now let's see what happens if we do the opposite. Let's try intensity four and five. And again, we're gonna just select these. And there's a lot of different things that we could do, but right now I'm just showing you intensity. Let's see how this sounds. So you can see that's quite a different feeling. Let's actually try it one more time. Often I'll just kind of replace until it looks like something that might be right and then I'll fade this out. And uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. Okay, so now let's talk about music. I did randomly place a music cue, but right now I'm just gonna hit reset here. So it's really important to know that whatever's in your replacement settings is the sounds that Audio Design Desk is pulling from are set by your replacement settings. So sometimes you might be going, why isn't it giving me a new sound? Well, it's because there's uh, something in your replacement settings here and you gotta hit reset to clear it out. So one of the hardest things when you're trying to find a music cue is finding royalty-free sounds. Now there's a bunch of places where you can acquire royalty-free sounds, but the process is extremely slow. I gotta go to a website, I gotta log in. Um, now I'm gonna, let's see if it remembers me. I think it's going to, yes it does. And then I gotta go, okay, I'm looking for some music. Now I gotta go, okay, well what kind of music am I looking for? There's a lot of options for me. I'm looking for something that let's say has percussion. Percussion, so I'm typing in percussion, now it's filtering, now I gotta play it, I'm waiting for it to buffer, it still hasn't Audio played jungle. yet. Uh, now I'm like not watching, maybe I'm like going back and forth and trying to watch it with my scene. And then we go, okay, so let's say that I think I like that. So I'm gonna click download. Then I gotta fill out a form, right? All of these things make you do something like this. And now that's downloading. Now I'm waiting for it to download and it's gonna come in the time now. And then I gotta go find the thing in my download folder. It's going to unwrap from this to go, going to go back into a regular kind of a file. We got to go inside of here. We're going to find our right, find the right file, then bring it in. Oh my gosh, how long did that just take? And I don't even know if this thing works yet. Right? So, so that's how long it takes to find a cue that might maybe possibly work. And you're not even looking at it up against your video in audio design desk. We, place and replace your music in real time and you can filter it in real time too. So I'm gonna show you some of that right now. Z is the key and you can see it right here. Z is the key that brings in a full mix. 
Uh, so I'm just going to randomly bring in a full mix, and I'll solo this track so we can uh, listen to it. This one happens to be kind of cool, but let's see what happens if I hit Command R to replace. That's one way, but the real magic comes when you start to select your genre. So let's say, okay, this is a action scene. And so now it's gonna pull from these action cues and we'll hit, just hit replace. And that's kind of cool. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. Hey, let's go try comedy, right? We want to try some comedy sounds? Here we go. Try it again. Try it again. Let's try drama. Maybe this. And then you'd find your ending of your scene, which comes somewhere in here. And uh, maybe you're gonna do a rise to hit here. That seems like a little bit of a long rise and I'm just kind of editing the ending. Let's replace this rise and find something a little shorter, something a little shorter. Uh, oops, I have drama. See, this was a good point. So I have drama set here. So I need to unselect that or click reset. And I'll just, uh, let's try this as an ending. Though. So maybe we'll actually add a transition in there too. Let's try that. So this has been a brief overview of some of the things that you can do in Audio Design Desk. There's obviously lots and lots of other features, like you can add effects onto the individual regions, or you can add them onto, uh, you know, onto tracks. There's automation. There's sort of most of the things that you would expect of a fairly full-featured uh, 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 DAW. But we wanted to just give you a brief overview so that you can start to play with it and start to ask questions and really come to us and go, we want this to happen. How do you do this? Um, so I appreciate you watching and please subscribe to our channel if you want to see future videos. We have a lot coming. There's a lot to show. Um, we're really excited to start to build our community. So thanks so much for watching.